Yeah, so here we are, um, after an hour drive down to Cornwall, here's all the materials by the gate of the house and uh, that's where the greenhouse is going to be built. Uh, so that's the carry, it's up here, up these steps to bring all the stuff to this site here. So I've made a start already, as you see. The tricky thing though, of course, is uh, how you get these two large swan ton bags through. Well, it seems that you can go round the house. Down these steps, well, a step, around the decking. You have to actually go up over the decking and around the corner, because that's the height of the step over there. Uh, and it's too narrow there for a wheelbarrow. So then, over here, and uh, these steps are too narrow for a wheelbarrow as well. So you go up here, along this path. Around behind the shed. Back along the top of the garden. And you see over there, that's where we're going. So you can see this is a, a slope as well on the, the site of this greenhouse. So there's going to be uh, quite a few courses of bricks to put at one end to level it out. I think three, probably four extra courses of bricks at one end to get it level. So the first job is going to be get the foundations, or to get more engineering bricks to uh, to uh, get that level point and compensate for it. A nice cup of tea. I'm needing some of that. Basically, so the solution is I'm going to have to just wheelbarrow loads of the uh, aggregate and sand to the bottom of the stairs, come up here with a shovel full, dump it on that bag, put it in the mixer, use it, and then do the same with all the sand. That's the only solution I can see. So head down, come out the other side grinning. Okay, it's about uh, seven o'clock now, and um, it's winter, isn't it? It goes dark at four, so it's not really late, but uh, it feels it, it always feels it this summer. So I made a start on the aggregates up here, all the cement, uh, blocks, all the bricks are up here now. So that's it. Um, marked out the trench and dug out for the foundations to go in. I'm going to pour a wet, slurry concrete mix in there now. And, um, nice and deep. It's about a uh, foot deep. So, uh, but it's uh, had, a, had a chat with Penny and um, playing around with the orientation of the greenhouse and where it goes. It looked like we're going to have it this direction um, with the door that way. So it's going to be easier for me actually, which is great. You know, I didn't actually try and encourage it to do that just to make my life easier, but it does feel better anyway, having the door steering around to the pathway there. So that should be nice. But yeah, it, the slope is only on the short return, so it shouldn't be too bad with the, uh, the bricks, hopefully. But uh, I'll get on now, I'll get the concrete in. And, uh, you know, next stage. It's good. Okay, this is the next morning and the foundations are in. Got them mostly in last night, worked till uh, I think it was nine o'clock. Um, just to get a good start on the day. It's nice to get the really messy jobs done the night before if you can, in it, first day. Um, I had to step them down, so we got to, um, have to add an extra course as each step goes on. So what's that? One, two, three, four extra courses on this bottom run compared to the top one. Um, so that we come to a level top, obviously. The the step is the width of one engineering brick. So the next job is to get the um, battens laid out uh, to square off the footprint of the building um, and uh, start laying the bricks, get the walls up. Okay, this is... Um it was about three o'clock on the second day. The engineering bricks have now all been used up. Um, 
so we've got three extra courses on that end. Um, so it comes out with five from one end and two on the other. Um, I'll point those all up later and with this climate the mortars can take ages to go off so it'll be fine to do that later on. I'm going to start with the, uh, the other courses of bricks now. Um, the downside to the fact that it's on a slope is of course that uh, with this particular one we're going for a raised bed inside on both sides of the interior so this raised bed on the left hand side will have to go up another three courses um, maybe two if I can fetch it in a little bit um, so I'm going to have to get a little bit more bricks tomorrow to try and sort that out uh, the cold frame here the foundation's gone in for that but uh, we should be alright just going for a couple of courses of engineering and uh, a couple of courses of um, the uh, facing brick so that'll be okay um, it's been drizzling all day so the ground is all muddy um, but it hasn't been so bad that it's affected the bricks uh, but I thought I'll put the gazebo up now just so that I can protect it while I carry on working uh, tonight so uh, there we go see you when I got through the other side of these uh, these facing bricks um, it's just gone 8 o'clock and uh, we finished all the the um, <laughs> facing bricks. Oh, I can't think, um, which is great. So that's nice. Just the front to finish off here. And I'm going to put the wall plates on the timber wall plates on top of these tonight, um, and then I'll um, point it all up. Uh, so it looks like tomorrow is going to be all right. I'm going to dig out two trenches here and fill them with concrete as well. I might do that tonight, but let's see how we go. Be nice to do so. But uh, that's the height of it, obviously. Uh, and there'll be a cold frame there. You can't even see the uh, foundation for the uh, cold frame now because the rain has been just relentless all day. It's, it's fine now, which makes me feel, you know, it's nice to carry on. But um, it's been just so damp. Luckily, there's been wind as well, so the damp hasn't got into the mortar. And I've been using Hessian over them all the time as well, just to keep any of the damp off. So should be all right. Okay, brilliant. Um, let's carry on. Okay, so here we are on the third day. It's about one o'clock. I've dug out the trenches for the two foundations uh, and they're filled in. Um, did those uh, first thing this morning. I uh, cleared all the turf out and I've gone to get all the extra bricks that I need, all these um, engineering bricks. Uh, just worked out what we need for the cold frame as well. So I'm going to mix on now and start doing the um, internal walls, walls and cold frame. And then the last job will be to do um, level off the interior, uh, get rid of the rest of the aggregate and sand in there to, to bind it. Um, and then uh, lay down all the uh, flagstones. Okay, wish me luck. Still a bit temperamental, the old weather's coming in and going with a bit of rain. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's been pretty good. It's a little chilly, chillier than it was yesterday. But uh, not to worry. Okay, let's go. Okay, not much daylight left now. It's uh, was it 4.05, yeah, so it'll be dark any minute. So just uh, a little update um, on the last bit. Um, I've done the... Uh, raised uh, cold frame. Uh, covered that over with hessian because of the rain and the wind and all that sort of thing. Uh, we've made a start on the inside um, raised beds. They're going to be quite big, these ones, so we're going quite tall. Uh, I don't know whether uh, we're going to grow flowers in them or things that like a deep root, but uh, they'll be able to do for anything. And they're also great because if they're really high, you've got the plants at a nicer level for you as you work and you can see them easier and you don't have to stoop so much, which is always nice. But So we've got an extra two courses that are going to go on top of that. So it's going to go, you know, right just below the sill here. Um, and this one uh, will be the next job to do. So we need to finish on this side. Um, and then a case of just digging out the interior, uh, throwing that soil, which is actually quite good soil, over into the beds. They won't actually take up much room because once they compact it's down. Um, uh, and then uh, we've got some good compost over there, uh, which they've bought ready in preparation, which can go in too. Um, and then it'll be a case of just flagging out that, that pathway um, and then that's it for this job until I come back with the um, with the whole greenhouse and timber structure uh, after Christmas so I thought I'd best show you now because it's going to be dark and 
I'll just show you again in the morning all the finished job. Um, okay, cheerio. Okay, it's, um, it's half six at night now. Um, everything's done except for the flagstones and levelling off the ground. Um, so it's not much at all, but it's so wet now. It's really coming down. Um, so I'm sheltering in the back of the van. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea, which uh, my customers have kindly brought me. Uh, there, and a, and a butty. Uh, and just wait it out and hope that it just goes so uh, I can get a chance to to get out there and get on with some more. I need to get this finished, so let's see. Okay, this is it, the morning of the last day. It's um, nearly eight o'clock. I've been up since half six. Um, the storm last night in the gazebo. Uh, luckily I'm staying here, went flying past the window. Okay, here it is on the final morning. It's all finished, so. Um, Really stormy, really bad weather all week, sort of just rain, constant rain, so as it's on a hill there's a lot of mud, but that will just uh, clear away and the grass will grow back. There it is, the uh, path went down last night, gravel and two raised beds on the side can be filled. Uh, cold frame there with weed block sheeting over it, and that's all finished. And um, there we are. Other than the mud, this place doesn't look like a building site so much anymore. Uh, all the bags are gone. The steps are all clean again. So that's it. Wonderful. Jump down onto the next one. Great. Looking forward to getting back here in a few weeks and put the top on it. Just got that eight, eight hour drive back home now. Try and get back home in time for the children's um, nativity play this afternoon.